Now, we have some missing number problems for adding or subtracting multiples of 100, so numbers that end in two zeros. But this first problem isn't really a missing number problem, because all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box, and it doesn't matter whether the equal sign comes at the start of a calculation, like it does here, or at the end, like it usually does, we do the same thing. So we need to work out 296 plus 200. If we highlight our hundreds digits, 2 plus 2 is 4, so that means our answer is 496. We still have the 9 tens and 6 ones because we're not adding any tens or ones, we're adding a multiple of 100. Now, something equals 663 minus 600. So if we highlight our hundreds digits, we have 6 minus 6, which is 0. But we can just write 63 as our answer, because with a two-digit number, that already tells us that we don't have any hundreds. So we don't need to write zeros at the start of whole numbers. Of course, we have 63, because we still have our six tenths and three ones, because we're not subtracting tens or ones. Now, 362 plus something equals 662. We can see that the tens and ones digits are the same in our answer, which means we know that we must be adding a multiple of 100. Now, whenever we get a missing number addition, one way to solve it is to use subtraction. So we could work out 662 minus 362, or we could spot that we need to add three hundreds to give us six as the hundreds digit of our answer. So our missing number is 300. Now something plus 300 equals 905. We can highlight our hundreds digits and again, we can remember that if we have a missing number addition, we can use subtraction to find our missing number. 905 minus 300 is 605. And that makes sense because 6 plus 3 is 9. But then, because we have 5 ones in our answer, and we weren't adding any ones, we must have 5 ones in the number that we start with. Something minus 500 equals 275. So here, it's the first number of a subtraction that's missing. And remember, subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So to find our missing number, we can work out 275 plus 500. That's 775. And that makes sense because 7 minus 5 is 2. And because we're not subtracting 10s or 1s, but we have 7 10s and 5 1s in our answer, we must have 7 10s and 5 1s in the number that we start with. And finally, 723 minus something equals 123. We can see that it's only the hundreds digit that has changed, so we know that our missing number must be a multiple of 100. Now this time, it's the second number in our subtraction that's missing. And if the second number, not the first number, is missing, we still use subtraction to find our missing number. So we could work out 723 minus 123, or we could just spot that we need to subtract 600 because if we start with 700s and subtract 6, that means we have 100 in our answer, and we still have the same number of 10s and 1s, because we're not subtracting 10s or 1s.